Welcome to the Depolex Smile Again Foundation. Presenting Highlights 2023. Following a long spell of uncertainty with the onslaught of COVID-19, daily life routine has gradually become normal. During 2023, DSF moved forward with its activities for the welfare of the acid-burnt victims in particular and focus on issues relating to violence against women in general. Proper SOPs were followed and medical treatment of the burnt victims continued. During the calendar year 2023, 65 new cases of acid and kerosene burnt victims from all over Pakistan were registered. 174 minor and major surgeries were performed on patients prioritized on the basis of recommendations from the medical specialists. Multiple checkup follow-up was arranged for patients who are in various stages of their treatment. DSF participated in several events to raise awareness about the heinous crime of acid attacks. Psychosocial support and skill training for the rehabilitation of the victims continued. DSF made tremendous effort and trained 100 female burnt victims and their female family members in assistant program, hair, makeup and skin aesthetics, jewelry making techniques, and cooking and baking. With the help of its supporters, DSF also provided in-kind contributions through the distribution of ration bags to the burnt victims and their families. Founder and President Masarat Misbah, DSF team and the burnt victims participated in special TV transmissions during the holy month of Ramadan. DSF also participated and assisted PTV Home's drama recording that principally raises awareness on acid crime and efforts of DSF in rehabilitating the burnt victims. Masarat Misba received prestigious awards for her humanitarian work, like Talks at Engro, for contributing to an insightful discourse on embracing equity and development leadership award by Ministry of Planning Development and Special Initiatives. DSF happily shares that during 2023, one burn survivor got married and she is now settled in her new journey in life. The journey doesn't end here. DSF under the leadership of its founder and president, Masarat Misbah, has a long way to go as we look forward to the year 2024.